Hey, we're here again today. We're going to be doing this logo with an Epson Artisan 1430. If you ever wondered how to close out the, the designs that you put up right here, if you go to file, usually I was looking for delete on here, but there's not a delete. But if you go to close, or if you have a, quite a few open designs down here, you can hit close all. And that will shut down all your designs. But yeah, I was looking like an idiot. and said, what the heck, where's the delete button? But anyways, let's go over here. You want to make sure that, um, like I have quite a few printers. So you want to make sure, see, because my Sawgrass uh, printer's on there. So you want to make sure that you put your printer that you're going to be using which I also have my label maker for Zebra to ship stuff out. But go and make sure you click on that one because for the longest time, I sit there probably about for 30 minutes trying to figure out why my printer wouldn't print. I thought I bought a broken printer. I thought it was just a, a paperweight at this point. But <clears throat> until I went and I started messing with these, you know, in order to get there to this section where it says you go down here to the bottom you can see there it says printer layout that's your width of the paper and the height you know I always leave that there and then the output size of my image and then I, ne I don't mess with any of that so and then I come down to my color I have it set at 75. I'm testing it out, seeing how much more color, see if it'll be darker. And I put my uh, white at 90%. I want to test it out also and see what that does. And these are all just testing phases. On my ink channel setup, the way I have it set up on the printer is yellow, the black, white, white, magenta, and cyan. Okay, you want to make sure you have these set up. And on my printer, that's the way I have them set up. Now, I've already pre-filled these and I got, I shook them. They're ready to go. I vented the holes out. That way, you know, I get some air in there uh, for better circulation. Um, so, basically, I have my A3 paper in there ready to go. You're about almost ready to hit print. You just want to make sure you have those saved. So I hit saved. So, and it's under user defined settings up there at the top. Because you, you could, when it, you first open up, it'll be like this. But you want to make sure this is the exact coloring of the way your cartridges are set up. Or I could do, you could save this like if. Say, for instance, you like this coloring, you could save it. See, because here it says 75. That's already saved. So I might just hit save the settings. That way you don't have to mess with it again. And there it pops up, save. So I just hit save. Well, I already saved it. So yes. Okay, so I'm good to go there. Like I said, these are going to be all test prints. So once you're ready, hit file. You can come down and hit print. Okay. And right here you want to make sure it says. You want to make sure you put white underlay under any colored pixel. Don't put this one up because you'll fill up the whole page full of white. So you want to make sure that you got this one checked. 100% white under any colored pixel. Okay. So is set up on my ink limit giving me 75 percent and on my white 90 percent another thing you want to make sure is that you want to make sure you hit print color first and then white plus color okay if you just say you just have this checked on there you will get the white color on the bottom and then the regular colors on the top of the white so when you go press it, you'll have a white 
laying on top of your color and you won't see it so it'll be like reverse so you want to make sure you print your color first and then check the white plus color and then all you have to do there's nothing else you have to do just hit print uh, I always just kick yes because it's saying it's a little bit larger than the size let's see what that does there it's just sending it over to your printer so it's just a little bit of waiting time okay got started printing having a little issues with paper feeding so what I ended up doing is I put more sheets on there but I also took that I put where it says wave I put off so now we're getting our print coming out so little issues like that I mean yeah I can see why it gives new DTF printers a headache because you literally want to just bite your head and you go look on YouTube and you can find nothing that explains why your paper just keeps feeding through keeps feeding through keeps feeding through and you try to clean the rollers and that's not working so once I turned that wave deal to off it took my paper but I like you said I added some more so. okay it's done printing tell you what it doesn't take that long to print I really like it I don't know the colors too much maybe they could have been a little darker I don't know but there it is I'm not sure why it didn't put white on all of the black as you can see some of the black doesn't have white on there so I'm not too sure why but I really like it guys I mean it just takes trial and error really so don't forget to hit like, subscribe to The Impossible Co. And we'll see you next time.